Tonight, a deeper sort of darkness settled over Ukraine after a fresh barrage of 36 Russian missiles targeted the country's electricity network, according to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. The Ukrainians say anti-aircraft systems shot down about half of them. But the attack still left about one and a half million people without power, according to the government. It's the latest in a weeks-long assault on civilian infrastructure the European Union is calling a war crime. Ukrainians in the capital now rushing to buy up generators to light and heat their homes. All right, so this is where the generators are supposed to be, and there's only two left. Some shoppers left empty-handed. Do you think that Vladimir Putin is trying to freeze you into submission? No, Jakob. Of course he is. This shopper told me they do that deliberately to destroy the critical infrastructure. Will you surrender because you're cold? Never. We'll never surrender, he told me. Before we surrender, Putin will die like a dog. I visited one couple who fled from the besieged city of Mariupol six months ago. But Russia's relentless attacks followed them to Kyiv. We have some experience, she told me. We were living for a month under very tough conditions in Mariupol. We know how to survive. Thanks to these rolling blackouts, they're once again living in the shadows. This will have the exact opposite effect, she told me. Putin just doesn't understand how nationalistic we'll be now. For many here, life in darkness is an act of defiance. Matt Bradley joins me from inside Ukraine. And Matt, there is yet another major threat tonight. Yeah, Jose, Ukrainians are pointing to a key hydroelectric dam in the Kherson region that they say Russia has lined with explosives. So the fear is Russia could just detonate the dam and unleash flooding on dozens of towns. Jose? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.